his way to the glory ring. He has an impressive seven and one record in Thailand's famed Lupini Stadium. Please welcome Anvar Boynazarov. Twenty-six-year-old Anvar Uzbek Boynazarov making his first walk to the glory ring. Spent the last two months training in Sacramento, California at Valor Training Center from Uzbekistan, but now spending much of his time in Thailand. And in fact, that is where his wife, Surirat, and their son, Mujahid, who was born just six weeks ago, that's where they will be watching tonight. He's yet to see his son in person, thanks to technology, FaceTime, Atal, he has been able to at least share smiles with his newborn baby boy. He's a man who loves watching Buakau Banchimek, who, let's face it, fight Professor, probably the most successful fighter to make the transition from Muay Thai to kickboxing. I'm glad you brought that point up because that transition is essential for a boy Nazarov. But one thing he's got, and he exhibited this in Thailand, he uses a lot of power punches to go through that iron guard of most Muay Thai fighters that he's fought. This man makes his second glory appearance after an impressive knockout in his debut. He is Giga Chikadze. Well, in life, you get one chance to make a first impression. This 26-year-old Giga Chikadze made a lasting impression in his glory debut. One might say it was simply spectacular. You talk about an awesome kicking game. He threw an axe kick. Rolling Thunder and the question mark kick, and there is no question he has a bright future in the Glory Featherweight division as he manhandled Canadian veteran Ken Tran, stopping him in the second round with a brutal left kick to the body. Comes into tonight's fight with a record of 33 and 3 with 20 stoppage victories. And there's, there has something to be said when you start training in martial arts at four or five years old. You kind of got it when you're a teenager, and if you can stay disciplined long enough to get into your early adult phases, you're going to be like Giga Chikadze is. High kicks, showtime kicks, rolling thunder kicks. You can expect everything from this guy. We are set for action in the glory featherweight division. Giga Chikadze from Tbilisi, Republic of Georgia, now fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, taking on Anvar Uzbek Boynazarov, who is making his glory debut. Yeah, the height notwithstanding, the one figure you do not see here is the 100 fights that Boynazarov has, and that is an intimidating factor. But Giga Chikadze has never fought Muay Thai, so you don't have to worry about not throwing an elbow or not clinching, so it's a psychological thing. The rest of the fights on this edition of the Glory Super Fight Series will be scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Here once again is Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Glory Featherweight Division. Introducing first, standing on a right and fighting out of the black corner, a two-time WMF Muay Thai world champion, a veteran at over 100 career fights, with an impressive record of 78 wins and 20 losses. Two bouts scored even 45 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters, he weighed in at 144 and one half pounds, 65. 5.5 kilos fighting tonight out of Uzbekistan. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Envor Boynazarov. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, a karate black belt who debuted at Glory 21 San Diego. His professional record, 33 wins with just three losses, 20 of those wins by knockout. At six feet even, 1.83 meters, he weighed in at 146 pounds, 66.2 kilos. He fights tonight out of the Republic of Georgia. Introducing Giga Chikadze. And your referee in charge of this bout is Steve Mazzagatti. Good crowd forming here at the joint at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Boy Nazarov got into Taekwondo at the age of 12. At 20, moved to Thailand to train full-time in Muay Thai. 
His opponent, Chikadze, started training in karate at the age of four, started kickboxing at 15. Referee is Steve Mazagati. The bell, and round one, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Chikadze changing stances already and going on the attack upstairs. Boy, Nazarov moving straight forward also. And while Boynazarov has a technical Muay Thai game, Steven, also a powerful puncher, can stop the fight by knockout with one blow. And that's the thing he's bringing right now is he's punching. He's hardly throwing any kicks at all. And while Boynazarov has a huge edge in professional experience, Chikadze had over 200 amateur fights between karate and kickboxing. He lived in the Netherlands for eight years, training with the likes of Cor Hemmers, Mike Passanier, and Ivan Hippolyte. Now a member of King's MMA in California, and what an army of fighters. Rafael Cordero is putting together in his gym two UFC champions, heavyweight kingpin Fabricio Verdum, lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos, and this youngster with a very bright future in kickboxing, Giga Chikadze. Chikadze is in with great company in that gym at King's MMA. Oh, nice left high kick there by Chikadze. Boy, Nazarov. He's really roughed him up, though, on the inside a little bit. But now Chikadze beginning to find his rhythm with these array of kicks, an axe kick. We saw that in his first fight, the push kick. If a kick has a name, Chikadze knows how to throw it. Flying knee. Yeah, the stair climb jump. Oh, man. Well, it's Capo kick. We saw him throw an amazing array of kicks in that fight against Tran. I, I've already talked about it, but I mean, it's just poetry in motion. But Boy Nazarov walking through them now, closing the distance. Because Boy Nazarov has walked straight forward, he's gotten hit with some good shots, and now he's bleeding. Boy Nazarov, 7 and 1 in fights at the iconic Lumpini Stadium, the Madison Square Garden of Muay Thai. There, what? Little. <laughs> from Chikadze. And switching stances to a southpaw, so trying to discombobulate Bonazarov, who's coming forward in a straight line, not taking his head off center. Yeah, and he said he was going to use angles, but he hasn't done that yet. Dragon sweep. We're getting the textbook here thrown at Boy Nazarov by Giga Chikadze. And Boy Nazarov's face beginning to look like Kerry on prom night. 20 seconds left in the opening round. Boy Nazarov continues to march forward, but he's eating shots yeah. occasionally. Stiff jabs there by Chikadze through the guard. Outside low kick. There's a question mark kick blocked by Boy Nazarov, but Chikadze beginning to find his rhythm with these kicks. Great opening round. Man. An amazing story that Chikadze, as we look at Boynazrov being tended to by the preeminent cut man in all of combat sports, yeah. Stitch Duran. And if Bart. anyone can stop the, the bleeding, it's Stitch. He's a hero in the cut man game and a hero in the fight world. Respect. And Bart. With Chikadze the on, the hands go. really whipped out the mojo with his kicking attack there in the first round. But it wasn't all kicks. And Bart. Hey, you okay? Put the pressure on, man. Hands up, hands up. Put the pressure on. Second round. Second round. Kazi blasting away with punches from the outside. Stair climb, knee up the middle. All right, check it out. Let's go. Kazi with the uh, <laughs> moral. I love that. It's a, basically a somersault kick. Right. For my other endeavors, it's uh, the rolling couple kick. Do some thunder like it. Uh, second round begins and immediately Chikadze mixing up his punches and kicks, switching to a southpaw stance. Catches the kick, sweeps the leg. Knee to the midsection. It's all Chikadze here to kick off round two. How'd you score the opening three minutes, Fight Professor? Well, that was a solid 10-9 for Giga Chikadze, for sure. Based on the kicks, the control, the damage done. It was a year ago this month. That Chikadze visited Los Angeles on his final day before heading back.
to the Netherlands. Rafael Cordero invited him to spar at King's MMA. He impressed them and invited him back in October. Chikadze decided to bring his wife, who is now expecting their second child, and their five-year-old daughter to America to live at the beginning of the new year. And boy, has that proven to be a wise investment, although Boy Nazarov cut. Chikadze knocked him off balance. And he had a flying knee that almost caught him earlier, right before that. And beautiful left hooks to the body, mixing up the body attack is Boy Nazarov. And Chikadze running away with the strikes here in round number one. 24 to 14, 34%, high ratio. And there's a jumping knee by Bonazarov. Bonazarov is getting back in this fight. Yep, beginning to find his rhythm. Lands the jab. Chikadze needs to utilize that footwork as he's standing right in front of the attacking Bonazarov. Just past the midpoint of the second round and Bonazarov corners Chikadze. Left hook to the body, beginning to just pepper Chikadze with these punches. Uppercut, jab through the guard. Man. So it was Chikadze putting a show Great. on in round one. Right. Boy Nazarov in his glory debut trying to steal some of that thunder in round two. He's really pressing the action here and being very successful at dictating where the fight is held. Boy Nazarov really landed some clean shots there and that was a good right hand right there. Under a minute left in the second. Left hand to the jaw by Boy Nazarov a jumping knee that Chikadze avoids. Chikadze's mouth is open. Yes, I was going to just say, Stephen, he seems to be fatiguing here in round two. Yeah, that's not a good sign because when you got a bull like Boy Nazarov in front of you, that's going to happen right there. Look at this punch combination. Partly blocked, but he's aggressive nonetheless. Up right uppercut, jack the jaw, Boy Nazarov, but then his head gets popped back like that proverbial Pez dispenser from a shot from Boy Nazarov. Jumping knee. We are seeing everything in this fight and we anticipated fireworks when this fight was announced. Giga Chikadze and in looking at tape on Anvar Bonazarov, it's a clash of styles, but man, styles make fights, Steven. Yes, they do, Moral. Great round of action and a much better round for Bonazarov. Yeah, Bonazarov definitely uh, took that round, in my opinion. He got busy. He thought to himself, if Giga Chikaze is going to fade, then I'm going to jump on him. I'm going to take this round. I'm going to bust him up. No, no, no. Hands up. Ambar, listen to me. Use your punches. He's tired. The flying, the flying knee's perfect. Well, Nazarov really pressed the action. And he did it. What is it? Mainly with punches, but occasionally he threw kicks like that one. It was mainly a push. So it's not ruled and knocked down. Chikadze wide open, but he partially blocked that Last flying down, knee. Right? Yeah. So, even after two, Steven? I would have to say so. Boy, Nazarov definitely won the second round. The third and final round underway that High kick blocked by Chikadze as we look at the stats here pertaining to the strikes. And while we have a moment, Chikadze slowing down. We talked about it in that second round. One of the factors may be the fact that he told us, Stephen, he had to lose 40 pounds for this fight during training camp because he made the move from lightweight to featherweight. One wonders if the, the weight cut is impacting him. Uh, that'll have a factor, but there was a lot of gymnastics, and I I've always said this, kicks take a lot more energy than punches, especially when you leave the ground like that. It works great in movies, but in a real fight, sometimes you do get tired. And there's the strikes landed by round. So it's, it's clear that Chikadze won the first, Boy Nazarov won the second, and Chikadze pressing the action so far, doing well in the third. This fight is up for grabs. Body kick, liver kick there by Chikadze. Misses with the, the right hook. Boy Nazarov trying to establish the jab, using it more as a range finder. Probably trying to set him up for a, a knee attack. Again, a Muay Thai practitioner who's had, well, 100 fights coming into this, his glory debut. Exchange kicks. 
I think they're both on that uh, gasoline reserve now. So it's going to be a stand and trade situation. Conte fighting out of the southpaw stance, just ate a straight right hand and a jab and another jab from Boynazarov. What I'm seeing here is that Boynazarov is able to hurt Chikadze, but the reverse is not true. Knee from Boynazarov. Chikadze coming forward. A minute left in the fight. I think you made a great point about that weight cut affecting the cardiovascular of Chikadze, because he's definitely fading here. Jab from Chikadze side, steps the right hand from Boynazarov, puts together a simple one-two through the guard of Boynazarov. Boynazarov fainting, maybe telegraphing a flying knee. 40 seconds left in the round. I don't think he's going to do a flying knee, not this late in the round. He, he's, he's gassing a little bit, too. Coming down to the final 30 seconds, Chikadze takes a big gulp. There's a tornado kick from Boynazarov. So after electric action in the first two rounds, they seem to have emptied their tanks, although Boynazarov coming forward, swinging wildly. Wow. A side headlock employed by Chikadze. Final seconds of the fight. Boynazarov seems to be the more muscular there in the clinches now. And the fight comes to an end. A terrific battle that, yeah, conditioning may have played a factor there in the end. A cut over the right eye of Boynazarov that was never a factor thanks to that man, Stitch Duran. How do you have it on your unofficial scorecard? I got Boynazarov winning that last round. I, I think that he was the fresher fighter. It, it, they landed, they both landed so much. It was really hard to score that last round, but I think that he put the most pressure and did it the tiniest bit more damage. So, Boynazarov looking for a victory in his glory debut. Chikatze won his glory debut, and while we have a moment, Wanted to mention, he asked us to uh, say this, and it didn't didn't take much for me to agree to say this. After his mother's death from cancer in 2013, Chikadze and his sister started the charity Knockout Cancer. He donates a portion of his fight purses to the fund. Last year, he helped nearly 30 cancer patients get better. Not surprisingly, they are his biggest supporters. Stephen, all of us have been affected by cancer in one form or another, and I hope we all live to see the day where we knock out the big C permanently. Absolutely. All right, let's look at the final stats for what was a terrific featherweight matchup. Dead even when it comes to punches landed. Slight edge in the kicking department for Chikadze. They each landed three knees and uh, Chikadze with a uh, six strike edge when all was said and done so a very competitive battle between Chikatsa and a sophomore outing as a glory fighter in the debuting Anvar Boynazarov and we saw a veritable cornucopia of kicks from Chikatsa in the first round and then Boynazarov going to his Muay Thai with the knees the front kicks knocking Chikatsa off balance Boynazarov putting together good combinations and then in the third round they seem to fade down the stretch with Boynazarov on the attack. Good counter from Chikadze. So in the end, it's up to the three judges chosen by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. They will decide who is victorious in what was a hotly contested glory featherweight fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. They give us a split decision. Judge Dave Moretti scores the bout 29-28, Chikadze. Judge Glenn Trowbridge scores the bout 29-28, Boynazarov. And Judge Camijo scores the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Envar Boynazarov! Nazarov records a razor-thin split decision win over Giga Chikadze in his glory debut. Chikadze looked great in his first fight in glory, defeating Ken Tran, and he tastes defeat for the first time thanks to the efforts of Envar Boynazarov. And he's standing by with the fight professor. Envar, 
That was a tough fight any way you slice it. Give us your thoughts on winning. Yeah, uh, I'm happy to win. Thank you for Glory Management giving me this fight. And thank you, my family. Thank you, my Valor family, Sacramento. Thank you, my, my coach, uh, Jonathan Wenger, my brother, Deutsch Poo. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm happy. You were very, very determined. It seemed like you lost the first round, came back hard in the second round. What do you think was the deciding factor in you winning the fight? Yeah, because uh, so I come from Muay Thai, right? So the first round, I, maybe I use Muay Thai style. So second round, I, I get uh, attack after. Congratulations, you've got to be proud of yourself. Let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Enbar Boy Nazarov. It is 100.